With the NFL Draft approaching at the end of this month, we wanted to take the time to really dive into the best pass catchers in this 2021 NFL Draft that's happening in Cleveland. And we wanted to bring on the insights and the opinions of Time to Football's own film breakdown person, Jordan Thomas. Jordan! Bro, I appreciate you taking the time to come on here and give us your wonderful, wonderful opinions on these amazing athletes. Hassan, I'm excited to be here and ready to jump in and really talk about the talent we have at the top of the draft with this wide receiving core, which is phenomenal this year. Yeah, and you actually mentioned wide receiving core, but when you talk about the best pass catchers, the number one guy on your list is actually a tight end from the University of Florida, Kyle Pitts. What are your thoughts and what are your opinions on this big athletic freak in Kyle Pitts? He is the combination of everything you would want in a wide receiver when it comes to route running, speed, able to catch the ball in traffic, and then can also be this tight end. That's just a mismatch, right? Like, you can't guard this guy with a linebacker or a safety. He's too slow. We saw a team in LSU two years ago try to do that with Grant Delpit. Mind you, he went in the second round to the Cleveland Browns. So this was a guy who was very talented but still couldn't keep up with Kyle Pitts, and that was two years ago, right? So being able to have that size, that speed, and still run those routes. You see him running twirl routes and faking out corners. You're also able to watch him just separate again and again. Look at him in the Georgia game where he's putting moves on guys that literally are making it impossible for him to guard. He's also going up and catching 50-50 balls. So if you throw it in traffic, that's the thing about Kyle Trask. Like he was, he was accurate with the football, but – how accurate do you have to be when you have somebody that's 6'6", 246, and can go up and snag the ball in traffic as well? So I really love seeing Kyle Pitts, and I think he is the top pass catcher. Once again, I said wide receiving core. No, he's the top pass catcher in the draft because of his size and speed. Pro day yesterday, he ran that 4'4", and that is ridiculous for a guy that size. So that's why I have him is really the can't miss prospect within this draft as a pass catcher. And you mentioned how he's a can't miss prospect and could be potentially a hall of famer one day in the NFL. Do you have any sort of opinion on which team he's going to play for, uh, for his entire career or which team at least is going to draft him come at the end of April? There are three spots where Kyle Pitts could fall. First, at number five to the Cincinnati Bengals, he could be a top target for Joe Burrow. Young quarterback, it's always good to have that safety net in that tight end who can be a vertical threat, take it to the house because he's Kyle Pitts. So that's one spot. Second would be right behind the Bengals, the Miami Dolphins at six. They also have a young quarterback into a Tunga Vailoa, and they want someone who can really complement their wide receiving core as well, right? So Kyle Pitts can land there, or I think can make it all the way to the Lions as well at eight. So those are three spots where I think Kyle Pitts can land. But if I'm any one of those teams, I would love to have Kyle Pitts on my team, stretch the field, and really be a mismatch for my quarterback. Yeah, falling to the Detroit Lions pretty late in that first round would be uh, a steal definitely for Detroit. And Miami as well, that'd be a good option as well. I'm a big Mike Kosicki fan, the tight end of the Dolphins, so you just pair them up, both of them side by side, both athletic tight ends, that would be great to see. Uh, Let's go ahead and for the T2F set, switch the colors to red because we want to talk about the University of Alabama and talk about the Heisman Trophy winner in Devontae Smith. Is he your second best pass catcher in this draft? Yes, Devontae Smith is first wide receiver, second pass catcher behind Kyle Pitts. And the reason why I have Devontae Smith that high ahead of Jamar Chase, which I know a lot of analysts and national opinions would disagree with me on, 
is because of his ability at the wide receiver to really do it all and to run the full route tree. This guy is very smooth in and out of breaks. He's able to run just about every route. He separates from defenders after the catch as well. Uh, we've seen him play in big games, small games. We've seen him do it even at punt returner. He returned a punt against Arkansas a few years back as well. I think that Devontae Smith is really being underrated in terms of his ability to, to really make those big plays. That's what it comes down to, right? Because in the NFL, they want to see him not just become a possession receiver. Guy caught over 100 balls. We got that. Had over 1,800 yards last year. We got that. Now, can you score? Can you make the big play? And I think you can do that as well. So when you turn the tape on and you look at Devontae Smith, what you're going to see is a guy who's very smooth in his route running ability. He's able to turn it up to in high gear. He also can slow down and make that catch. Very good hands catcher. One of the knocks, and I know we're going to get there when it comes to Jalen Waddle, is that Waddle lets the ball get into his body more and more. When it comes to Devontae Smith, you're not going to see that. Could be a quick slant route. He's catching it over middle. It could be a deeper post. Could be a post corner like the one he ran against Derek Stingley Jr. and made the one-hand catch in the back of the end zone. That was very sweet. That's what you're going to get with Devontae Smith. Super smooth, pure route runner, all-around wide receiver. And that's why I have, have him ahead of Jamar Chase and Jalen Waddle. And which team do you feel like is going to land the Heisman Trophy winner? I am going to make a bold prediction and say he makes it all the way to 12 to the Philadelphia Eagles. It could happen. It could happen because uh, a lot of people have uh, someone else ranked as a consensus number one wide receiver, and that is LSU's own uh, Jamar Chase. Could be drafted first, and that could mean that uh, Devontae Smith could be drafted second. Give your thoughts and your opinions on Jamar Chase. The first thing you're going to notice with Jamar Chase when you turn on the tape is how physical this guy is. You're going to love watching him when he comes off the line. Man, playing against Trayvon Diggs, who went to the Cowboys last year in the second round, who was with Alabama two years ago, Trayvon had a tough time trying to cover Jamar Chase, and here's why. He uses his hands at the line of scrimmage to get open constantly time and time again. One time you saw Trayvon Diggs get all the way up on Jamar Chase, and Jamar just knocked him off. Trayvon literally almost fell down trying to guard him. Also, once he gets off the line of scrimmage, he has his speed. Talked about Kyle Pitts running a 4-4 in his pro day yesterday. Well, Jamar Chase ran a 4-3-8. So very fast, very quick. He can have big plays, even if you just throw a little slant to him. He can have big plays down the field as well. He gave Texas fits when they played him. So this is a guy that if you need someone who's going to go against bigger cornerbacks or maybe you have trouble on the outside, you want to go with Jamar Chase. In all honesty, I think a lot of NFL teams are going to favor him over Devontae Smith because he has that bigger frame. And in a 17-game season, you want someone who may seem to be more durable. And at this point in time, that looks like Jamar Chase. So that guy's physical, can get off the line of scrimmage, and is probably going to last a lot longer, at least according to a lot of executives, NFL scouts, when it comes to that full rigorous schedule of the NFL. And if you had to make a prediction on Jamar Chase, uh, I know your favorite team, the Philadelphia Eagles, could land Devontae Smith at number 12. Uh, with them trading back out of six, Jamar Chase probably won't be around for that long. Which team do you feel like would draft Jamar Chase? I think Jamar Chase is either going five to the Bengals, depending on, once again, the Bengals could go tight end with Kyle Pitts. They could get an offensive lineman to protect Joe Burrow, or they could choose Jamar Chase if they think he's the best overall player there. More likely than that, I think the Miami Dolphins at six will snag Jamar Chase for their young quarterback in Tua. It'd be interesting to see because the 49ers moved up to number three, and you could have the first four picks potentially all be quarterbacks at that point. 
what do the Bengals do? But speaking of the best pass catchers, you got those top three. One guy that you kind of left off on that list was another University of Alabama wide receiver, and that is Jalen Waddell, who had his season cut short due to injury, but is still regarded as a pretty good wide receiver in this draft. What do you? What is your take, and what are your thoughts on Jalen Waddle, and why don't you have him ranked as high as any of these other players that you've mentioned? Listen, Jalen Waddle is still a playmaker and a problem. Here's why: he has elite speed. He is a home run threat, similar to Tyreek Hill and Deshaun Jackson, and this guy really has the ability to take the top off of any defense. Before he got hurt, he was averaging 21 yards per catch. If you exclude the national championship game where Jalen Waddle was hurt, well, his worst game beyond that was six catches for 120 yards against Ole Miss. So I really think Jalen Waddle is going to, to be someone who's very explosive in the league and can make a difference. The reason why he's not on a list is more than anything – we had three other guys that we could talk about today. So because of all the folks that we had at the top, I just left them out, but that's not any, there's no knock against Jalen Waddle. This dude in the right offense, in the right scheme could be a star. And I think that's the same way the NFL is going to approach it. He could go five, six, seven, depending on where these teams see him fitting in to their scheme. Now, If one of those teams think, as I do, that Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, Devontae Smith are more sure guys, then he's probably going to drop down further than that. But he's a a top player, no doubt. And in his own ranking regard, he's he's someone that just can really be explosive. And and you see that time and time again, whether it's punt returns, kick returns, or it's him taking screen routes or post routes. I don't think there's a guy out there who you see more home run plays of than Jalen Waddle when you turn on the tape. Every time, any film you look at, he's a highlight machine. So, great player. For sure, for sure. And all these players that you mentioned already are very, very good players. Jordan, I appreciate you taking the time and giving us your opinions on who the best pass catchers are in this draft. And we would love for you to come back and break down more film on many more positions going into this NFL draft. So, thank you for the time. Thank you, son. That is Jordan Thomas giving us his opinions.